you're in the home of the largest collection of posters for sale in the world, uh, with posters from virtually every country and every theme. Probably half a million posters. And they're all types of art, from little labels for perfume or water, uh, labels for axe handles or sardines, for beer or wine, and then, of course, larger posters and prints of all types. A hotel was being renovated, and I bought the contents of the basement, which were the trunks. And inside the trunks, I found three letters from the Wright brothers. And I sold those for, I think, $1,200 which 45 years ago was a great deal of money. From World War I, and this is what I was talking about, at messages being sent. So I've been long one of the bigger buyers of interesting political, and especially Russian. I've had thousands of really great Russian posters. This is by Shere selling a lamp oil, which didn't have any odor and was really very good. They're like really unique and you can't find them anywhere else. So when you're like missing a huge piece and you try to search for how the piece looks like, you don't know how it looks. So we just try to use our imagination to see how we're going to draw this part that is missing. We use, we pieced it in and then we just use the color pencils to basically draw in this whole part that, that was missing. This was missing, this whole part was missing as well. And I was buying the types of posters that other people weren't buying. Uh, primarily in Europe. I just bumped into the store and I came in because um, I'm very interested in Puerto Rico posters of um, from the 60s, from protest era type of. I love the colors and I love the fonts and of course I'm looking for the year I was born. I'm always buying new and old. There's always something that's happening today that's interesting and worthy of saving. And so I've always concentrated on ephemeral art and fashions and f fads because they quickly disappear and the art quickly disappears as well if someone doesn't save it.